Come from, from the grassroots. You've all seen that sign. Our grief is not a cry for war. Do you believe that? Yeah. Our grief is not a cry for war. Let's say that together. Our grief is not a cry for war. 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 Hallelujah. But those of us who are old enough to remember other attempts at peace, there is a difference this time. You can't really argue that we shouldn't get Osama bin Laden. Of course we should. We have to get him. Jihad and holy war is a terrible perversion of Islamic teaching. Of course, let's go get him. But let's not do our so-called precision bombing anywhere around. Let's not kill innocent people this time. We've already done that in Iraq. We've already done that in Vietnam, El Salvador, Nicaragua, Chile. We have a long list of places where our bombing has not been very precise. We have emotions coming up that we wouldn't have allowed into, into public space, into the parks before. We don't feel the surveillance anymore. We're here. We're putting our own stories on the fences. We're confessing to each other. This is rehumanized public space. Yeah. This is re-narrated public space. And this is the place for it. I don't think it's happening at Union Square just because the, the borderline the first days after the bombing was 14th Street. I think this is holy space. This is where we won the eight hour day, right here. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. All the stars you could see was, was full of, of young women from sweatshops who were refusing to work. They rehumanized Union Square, just as we are. Amen. Now, I am from the church of Stop Shopping. The church of Stop Shopping, my congregation, we, we were upset that the President of the United States and the mayor of our city asked us as a measurement of our patriotism to start shopping again. Shopping is a sin, children. We're surround, we're in a, the Bermuda Triangle of retail here in Union Square. That's what makes it especially interesting that we have reclaimed this place. In our church, we believe that if we start shopping again, we will bring back the very conditions that made the bombing somehow in some wicked logic necessary. Why is it? that Americans are intruding and insinuating our, our reality into the families and tribes and nations in the Middle East. Why is that? It's because of our consumer culture. We are the policemen for the entire world. That really must end. It seems to me that the bombing is a chance for us to reemploy a new kind of conscience where we look at the American way of life and start wondering do we really have to shop so much? Do we have to spend so Do we have to have these tchotchkes? Is this happiness surrounding myself with these goddamn tchotchkes all day long? These objects, this wealth, this pension plan, these junk bonds? And if I need it so much, is it really worth it to imprison and, and disempower people on the other side of the world? I don't think so. This is a realization that I'm encouraging. Let's look at what we're doing with our money. Let's do the opposite of what the president and mayor have asked us to do. Let's stop shopping, children. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you. Praise be. This is our new Hyde Park. Yeah, baby. This is like London. It's our new Speakers Corner. Let's say it here. Oh, yeah.